All right, one of my viewers asked the question of how to take the previous flow where we were creating tasks uh, from a form in Planner and assigning them to the task I assignee for a given department and assign them to multiple people. So if we imagine that this task assignee column or a multi-select person column, uh, I'm not going to change this one, but I'm, I'm going to instead use the project approvers column, which in this list is a multi-select person column. So it would be the same effect. Um, but basically, how would I go about creating or modifying that existing flow such that if someone selects management as the type or the department, that the tasks created will be assigned to both of the project approvers in that plan? Uh, and it's a little bit complicated because the task assignee column is a single select person column, so it stores an object, which is the person. Uh, object has properties like the display name, the email, the job title, etc. Uh, but it's fairly easy because the, you know, essentially we're going to use a get items action to retrieve the appropriate item from this department's list that matches the choice selected on the form. And getting the email address of a single select person field is fairly trivial. So if we take a look at our flow, here we are getting the items from that departments list, and there's a filter in there where the title of the department is equal to the task category, so that's gonna stay exactly the same. But to get the assignee email, if we're using that task assignee email, or task assignee column, we're simply saying, get me the you know select from the output of this action now this action in practice is returning a single item but it's still formatted as an array so I need basically I can use this select action to retrieve just the task assignee email property from that task assignee column in that array of results that's returned um, so if I were to simply remove the task assignee column and then replace that with project approvers, well, first off, looking at the dynamic content, you'll see that for task assignee, there are the different properties. There's the display name, the email, the picture, the department, claims, etc. I don't have those for the project approvers. And the reality is that inside of this structure, there is no way to extract that same that single the emails property across that array of approvers so what I need to do is basically accept the fact that this get items action is going to return a single value so I can instead of creating or instead of operating this uh, pointing this select action against or, or using the input of the entire array of items coming back from that get items action, I can instead say run this select action against the array of uh, department or uh, yeah department approvers in the in that particular item. So how do I do that? Well, I need to use two expression, well, an expression and then a little bit of notation. So the first expression I need to use is first and that will return the first element of an array so I'll say first and then go to dynamic content and say give me the first value that is returned from that get items action but actually what I want is one particular column from that so I need to get the first item but then at the end of that put a question mark open bracket and that column name is project approvers with a capital P project approvers so basically that's saying uses the input for this select that array of project approvers and then the the, the flip side is that that simplifies this map field to simply the expression of item, which is, you know, the item that's in that particular array. And then I, what I want is the property of the email or the email property. So I'll put a question mark, square bracket, capital E, M A I L, within single quotes. There we go. And then 
our compose assignee action uh, basically is doing the same thing. It's joining the output of the select assignee emails and then further down our create task action is going to use that same compose assignee output or compose action to assign it. So that's pretty simple. Now we can just save this flow and then go over to our form, try it out. So I'll submit another response and call this a management task five, task categories management, and it starts the 21st, due the 29th, and we'll call this management task that's important. So we'll make that important. And I'll just set a couple of our labels there and submit that. And if we refresh our plan, there is management task five. And we can see that it is assigned to, if we open that up, to Chad and Robert, and we can see there are the labels that we've added. It is important. Um, so that's basically it. The And just to kind of highlight that expression that you need or the, the formula you need to use, so it's first and then outputs of your, you know, whatever the, the get items action is, uh, specifically the body slash value component of that. And then you just need to append to that the question mark and then square brackets, single quotes, and your internal column name for that multi-person, uh, multi-select person column. Uh, and then following that, you simply use the item email expression to retrieve the email address of each project approver and the rest is history. So there you go. Hopefully that helps and if you have any other ideas, any other thoughts of ways you might want to use this or expand this, leave those in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, thank you and have a great day.